hello everyone so today we are going to work on uh, how to add the countdown in the beginning of the race and how to prevent the player car and other cars uh, moving while the countdown is finished so once three two one go part is finished the cars will start moving here is the demonstration See, now all the cars start moving once we get go. Let me show the demonstration again. Go. Okay. Alright, so that's what we are going to work on today. Right, so yesterday we worked on this 2, 3, 1, go effect, but as you can see, even if the countdown is not finished, the cars are starting to move. So what I want to do is like implementing a race-like behavior, so until the countdown is finished, I can't move. Not uh, not just the player car, other cars also should stay in the same location and also this at the moment this does not look much like a race because cars are everywhere but uh, we can fix that but for now I want to focus on how to make the cars start moving on the counter alright so First, let me open the sports car form. Now, let's first look into how to block the player's moment. So, the player's moment is based on uh, the inputs. Here, we have accelerate custom event and move forward. So this input axis move forward. This is what controls gives the player input to move forward and backward. So here we can. So here, let me add a new variable. Moment added. Right now. Uh, I can go inside here, this macro and have a branch only if the moment is enabled this part will be executed and uh, we have used this same macro for the accelerate event and the move forward event so this accelerate event is what used by the AI cars uh, to apply acceleration and move forward so and since you are using the same macro if I make this false cars will not be able to move so now let me show you see the cars are not moving because I have left this variable false so now let me enable it by default and then under blueprints i'll create a new actor blueprint let's call it bp race Manager. now here uh if you remember i added this widget which shows the countdown in the level blueprint now let me cut that from here and paste it into the begin play of the race manager so that the countdown part and starting the race part will happen will be controlled through the race manager 
right let me just quickly check the countdown oh, countdown is not happening because I didn't add the race manager into the level okay now we, we should get the countdown right so to stop the cars moving initially and only enable the moment after the countdown here we need a reference to all the cars so I'll mm, here do we have a interface no right well we don't really need an interface here I'll add a variable cars it should be in the type sports car four uh, it would be less covered if I set up an interface on the cars and make this instead of a sport car phone if I make this a uh, actor variable type it would be less coupled but let's just get the functions first and see it's not like we have a lot of things going on here at the moment right now I'll make this public and then Here we can see cars. So we have one nine cars in the level in, and ten including the player. So let's add ten elements to this. Uh, array and let me pick them all Even though they are not in the race, I let them. Okay. Now, mm, let me get this and run a for each group. And for each car, set set moment enabled. So we can reuse this part. Therefore, I'll convert this to a function. Total car. Not just one cross to the cross moment, okay. And I'll promote this as a variable. So now, initially, I'll leave it false, and after three seconds, uh, not three, four seconds because three, two, one, go. So, four seconds. I'll call this show. Now I can't move. And only after the countdown is filled, I can move. Okay, that's all I wanted to do for today. 
and in the future let's look into like how to turn this into a real race like we should have some checkpoints in the beginning and then we should have a lap system a way to determine the car has completed a lap or so determine the position in the race so we will look into those things in future so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye